So we feed this feed that is labeled organic, non-GMO, and I appreciate that, but what I don't appreciate is the fact that those terms don't really have a whole lot of meaning anymore. So why did we get it? Uh, you would think that this would cost us extra, but actually we got this for $7 a bag. Um, so we bought everything that they had. <laughs> it was super cheap. So y'all remember that video that I posted uh, Saturday, Labor Day, <laughs> it was Labor Day weekend, nobody watched it because everybody was gone. I didn't think that went through at all. Anyway, I posted a video uh, called something about free range. I put these chickens in here. These are all of our, our Freedom Rangers, I put, I put our chickens in here and I bush hogged and everything. The problem was that there were certain areas that I couldn't get to because of this big old log and everything. Now look at this. Let me focus. Okay, I couldn't get to any of this. If you remember that video, I'll actually, I'll go ahead and post part of it. In less than a week, they have knocked this down, and that's what I was trying to find out, is how much work they would do. And in less than a week, they have, they have just really gotten all of this and done a fantastic job, so. Proof's in the pudding, y'all. Put your chickens to work. I like the results of putting the Freedom Rangers, our meat chickens, uh, out on the pasture and behind the Premier One fence that I threw a fit over. Uh, I like that so much that I think what we're going to do is go ahead and move the Brahmas and all of our egg layers, round them up, throw them in the chick shaw, move them out into their own separate area and do the same with the turkeys so that everybody has their own separate area. I really like the, the way that that went, so uh, I think that's what we're gonna do today and uh, just move all the birds at once.
right, so now we have the turkey in area. Uh, that's going to give them a lot more room. They're still going to have their safe harbor to go home and, uh, and everything, get their water and their food and everything like that. Um, so we've split this whole thing up into four sections. The meat chickens have, their Freedom Rangers have their original section that you thought, saw me uh, throw a fit over. Now, thank goodness I've got family here to uh, help me not lose my mind and stretch out the rest of this fence. Now we've got the turkey section and right behind me, sorry, that make you seasick. Uh, we've got the chick shaw loaded up with chickens and Tegan is going to uh, release the hounds now. Well, that was anticlimactic. Okay, so we wait to uh, put them out uh, by themselves or, or free range them. Uh, we wanted to wait until they're older. They've got a bigger body presence. They're not very smart birds. And, uh, but it, the bigger they are, the, the less likely they are to be attacked by aerial predators, your hawks and stuff. Um, so it just helps that they're bigger. Anyway, that's why we wait till they're that big. I told you in the last video, uh, free range, the other free range video about the meat chickens over there. We wait until they're older as well so that we can uh, give them as much forage and everything um, as possible. Now these, these birds behind here, you've seen in a lot of our videos, we simply move them over here just to move them over here so that we can continue working over in their other area that they have spread out hay and manured and deseeded and everything for us and, and worked. Uh, they've worked that ground. It's time for them to move on. Now, honestly, they don't really have a purpose here uh, other than just to get them out of that area. And this is a great little shady um, spot that it's not gonna hurt anything that they, they stay in, so. Anyway, that's that. Okay, so we uh, put the turkeys in the area and then just decided to come in for lunch and immediately the turkeys escaped. I'm sure they flew over. Uh, so Keelan is going to, our oldest daughter Keelan is going to uh, show you all real quick how to uh, clip feathers um, in case you run into something like this. Alright, so this is very very easy process in cutting the primary feathers. Yeah. So right about here is basically where the secondaries are right here and you want to cut these right here in a straight line so they can't be able to catch any wind and fly over so I'm going to cut them there and it should make them not be able to fly by cutting their primaries okay so once again right about here is the line that you need to look for in order to cut their primaries and you just go in to a straight line and cut the feathers so yeah now we've got all of our not all of our birds but the you know what I mean three sections of birds 
uh, out here on this pasture split up into three three different sections and I love it I I love this setup everybody's working um, they're doing some fantastic work in the pasture and just look at this view I'm gonna check this out let me set you down here look at that I got meat chickens all up in here we got our egg laying in that corner egg laying and Brahmas and everything in that corner and then we've got our turkeys sorry for the Sun there we got our turkeys over here this is just proving to be a great setup I don't know how long it'll last well I do know how long it'll last uh, these guys will uh, these guys will be processed in three weeks I think four weeks can't remember anyway anyway so yeah I just love this view it's everything centralized all these chickens in here once again this isn't this can't be a permanent solution you're gonna have you're still gonna have to rotate and everything but man check that out we're able to use the chick shaw to lay e to gather eggs we've got our John Siskovich tractors and we still move those by the way I'm still moving those around uh, they don't just sit there because that's where we put their feed and uh, it gets turned into dust pretty quick so I still move that turkeys not so much they don't cause a whole lot of disturbance and there's only five of them uh, and they're very inquisitive as to what I'm doing but anyway this isn't a permanent solution it can't be I mean just it just can't be but uh, for now I love the view there's so many birds I don't know we're probably talking uh, 60 70 birds that you can look out on uh, from our backyard through our window you can just kind of look out here and see all these birds and they're doing their thing and chasing bugs and uh, the system is working they're they're keeping it mowed down they're taking care of the pests beautiful so now our area over here can be more focused on uh, a garden um, the chickens did their, their job if you remember we just we just set up this roost out bed uh, we're going to be able to push this even further. Uh, all this extra hay that they have spread out, doing a wonderful job. And throughout this process, well, <laughs> I don't know what happened to the chickens. There's a broody mama and a chick that are supposed to be in here. I'm confused I was going to tell you throughout all of this I just saw them this morning throughout all of this uh, we somehow managed to not bother mama and babies and <laughs> this little blue looks kind of terrible out here right in front of our house but that's where they were comfortable so that's where we're at what is going on I see what's going on what happened here let's uh, let's investigate well I found them uh they're in here with the quail and for some reason this door is open i i don't i don't know how that happened i don't know why this chicken and her babies would even come in here but they did so i'm gonna have to talk to my kids about that i don't know i don't know what happened there i have no idea how that happened but anyway i'll figure that out so I'll show you a clip right now, the two little cuties and uh, Mama, uh, she only had two hatch out of her clutch, but that's okay. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with them anyway. Anyway, y'all, uh, I think I'm going to close this little vlog out. I hope you maybe learned something from, from this video, and uh, that's it. That's all I got for y'all. So until next time, y'all, this is Mike from Square One Farms. We'll see you.